Hi guys. It is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful, soon to be sunset in paradise here somewhere on the coast of Maine, on the easternmost point in the United States of America, Lubeck, Maine, on this spectacularly gorgeous Thursday evening, August 15th, 2019, as the summer of 2019 unfolds. Good God, what is this? My 11th summer of being a depressed collapsitarian doomsday tourist and just remember that it is a Thursday. It's Thursday, August 15th, so I need to bring you some sort of depressed collapsitarian whine of the week here in paradise, but as I sit here and enjoy a, a margarita on this gorgeous evening, enjoying the sunset and soon to be enjoying the uh, full moon on the rise here in a few hours we're gonna have a big bonfire down on our little private beach on the coast of Maine we're gonna have a driftwood bonfire to celebrate the uh, rising of the full moon for August 2019 uh, probably enjoy a couple more of these margaritas and uh, so anyway, guys, I just want to make this video while I'm enjoying, while I am enjoying this margarita and my buddy's out finding a hot shower. He's off to find global industrial civilization looking for a hot shower. I decided to stay here and enjoy the sunset. Um, but I just want to once again uh, respond to the the constant question I get, I don't know if it's questions, advice, whatever, about uh, basically what I do for a living, what I have done for the past 10 years, and how I pull it off, basically, and do I recommend this lifestyle? And guys, uh, you know, there, there are so many ways to answer that question. And anybody considering, you know, doing what I did over 10 years ago, and that's walking away from this culture, from turning your back on uh, modern America culture and the best you can getting away from global industrial civilization, which of course none of us can do. Uh, there's a big difference from walking away from the dominant cultural paradigm and walking away from global industrial civilization. Anybody who does not understand the difference between the dominant cultural paradigm and the global industrial civilization which encapsulates the uh, planet-killing dominant cultural paradigm, I uh, suggest maybe you watch a little more Terence McKenna starting with culture is not your friend. So uh, I am mostly talking about people, you know, considering walking away you know, from maybe a nice $100,000 a year job in the matrix, maybe walking away from their beautiful home, uh, you know, with in my case, uh, whatever, the $1,500 mortgage, walking away from the uh, Lexus with the $1,000 a month car payment, uh, that kind of walking away which I did uh, 10 and a half, going on 11 years ago, I have been living this way. And uh, the constant question I get is, Hambo, do you regret it? Do you recommend doing in your life, doing in my life what you did in yours? And guys, 
I, I am not going to answer that question for you. I have been offering myself up as an example for 10 years. I have been offering myself up as an example of somebody who has done, uh, who has walked away from the dominant cultural paradigm. And like everything else in the world, it is a mixed bag of assets and liabilities. Everything in the world. I don't give a shit what it is. Nothing is perfect. Every single choice you make in your life is going to result in some good times and bad times. Now, I do think living like I do, you know, essentially living out of the back of my truck and rambling all around the country and in the past, uh, the Western Hemisphere, my little dog has slowed me down a little bit. Uh, it is going to be a major mixed bag of assets and liabilities. The uh, assets are probably going to be bigger than the normal assets of, of staying within the cultural paradigm. The highs are going to be higher and the lows are going to be lower. Anyone who thinks they're going to do what I do and not many times in their life, I think about a week ago, you know, just wondering what in the fuck have I done with my life? There will be many, many uh, days and more importantly nights of uh, extreme doubt that you have seriously fucked up. Uh, this lifestyle, uh, th there is a reason that not many people have my lifestyle, my vo voluntarily choose to live like I do. Uh, and they will become apparent quite quickly. And uh, so a few things I have learned in 10 years, for those of you thinking about doing what I've done, obviously, guys, and this is especially true if you uh, have a long history of depression in your life, uh, natural beauty, you need to aim to, to spend as many days of your life as long as you shall live getting out there and enjoying it while you still can. And uh, the, it's trying to figure out how to get out there and enjoy it while you still can. And of course, choosing beautiful places, no shit Sherlock. It goes without saying. Uh, finding ways to, to find beautiful places. And then, of course, the problem is finding, hopefully, free beautiful places. The number one website I recommend in order to do that is freecampsites.net. Freecampsites.net has probably led me to more beautiful places than any free beautiful places. And then if uh, you don't quite have an Airbnb budget, then I highly recommend the website HIPCAMP, H-I-P-C-A-M-P. Uh, if you can't find a free campsite, I highly advise you familiarize yourself with HIPCAMP. So obviously, you need to surround yourself with natural beauty like I have managed to uh, do here. And then, of course, my goal, my goal is to spend as many days of my life with this weather, this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous weather. I'm talking, what I am aiming for is a high of 78 and a low of 55. It, the, the more days per year I can get a high of 78 and a low of 55. And so this is what I, I run around the country. So this is why I tend to gravitate either towards uh, the 
New England, upstate New York area or the Pacific Northwest in the summer and uh, the South, Florida in the winter. Now, of course, I spent a lot of time both in uh, Latin America and the Caribbean and in the winter time. And while I, you, obviously, anyone who has seen my moving to Latin America, a gringo warning, I do not recommend, I do not recommend expatriating to Latin America. However, I do recommend spending uh, at least December, January, and February in Latin America or the uh, Caribbean. Still highly recommend that, but of course I am aiming to be a snowbird. Uh, so, beautiful places, beautiful weather, as cheap as you can go. Th these are some pretty no-shit Sherlock uh, recommendations. Okay, the next recommendation, do not attempt to do this alone. And we're going to start with, when, when I say alone, I mean totally alone. The number one rule, if you do not have a partner to join you, you have anybody who would attempt to do what I do without a little traveling partner. Uh, you have got to get a dog. Uh, this is Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza is a St. Croix Maine snickerdoodle. These little dogs, these little Sancho Panza dogs are running all over the island of St. Croix. So I suggest this winter, uh, you give this a test run, you go to St. Croix, uh, spend three months in St. Croix, and get you one of these little dogs. Uh, you can get them in the pound. If you can't find them in the pound, just get, rent a damn car and go up and down the road, and you will find uh, these little dogs. And, uh, but you have got to have a dog, too, to do what I do. Uh, without Sancho Panza. Good God, Sancho Panza is probably the only reason I have not gone Michael Rupert in my life. So, uh, whether or not you have a human traveling partner, you have got to get a dog. Uh, how, how a depressed collapsitarian could do what I do without a dog. It completely escapes me. Then, of course, uh, it is if you could find a traveling buddy. Uh, be doing this alone, even, even with the dog, sucks. It fucking sucks. I don't know how to make this any clearer, do not attempt to do what I do alone. You will, uh, you will discover the meaning of brutal loneliness if you attempt to do what I do. Now, of course, I understand that it's not that easy to find a partner to do this uh, you know, full time. I've ten fucking years. I have been thinking. Eventually, there is some woman on this planet who is going to see these videos and the way that I live and say, you know, uh, there are worse ways uh, to live than the way Hambone does. So while, uh, in the meantime, while I am waiting for uh, my Doomer chick. Uh, for, to find a woman who says, you know, him, uh, that looks, doesn't look like a half bad lifestyle. Uh, what I am going to do is what I've done more and more is uh, I now, as much as possible, try to schedule, you know, meeting up with uh, fellow, you know, doomsday tourists. Uh, I'm sure you know, Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, uh, if you are a regular commenter, th this is an unbelievable source, and you need to start getting to know each other. 
you have got to establish a network of fellow doomers, you know, people who get it. And so what I, what I do, uh, when I do travel is I try to hook up with all of these, uh, with all of my various tribes members. And uh, then, of course, the more people you network with, the greater your chance of finding a place like this. Like now I'm here with, with Brother Peter, uh, and he has a friend who owns this unbelievably gorgeous campsite on the coast of Maine. So this is our fifth night here, fifth and last night. So I have enjoyed five nights of the most gorgeous campsite, totally for free, on the coast of Maine, and uh, with my little dog and with Brother Peter. And so do whatever you can to find a, a traveling buddy, a running buddy, even if you, it, it's not a regular partner. There are other people in the Doomosphere who at least uh, can find, can get away for a few days. So, uh, you know, th 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 this is pretty obvious stuff. Beautiful places, beautiful weather, as cheap as you can, and do not do this alone. Uh, if, if you just aim for those, uh, and, if you, and if you can bat 50%, you're doing pretty damn good. Uh, if, if you're batting 500, but just fully understand anybody thinking that they're just going to walk away from their $100,000 a year job, their beautiful home, uh, all of their loving friends to uh, hop in a gas-sucking pickup truck and take to the open road like Hambone and that you're just going to have some glorious, beautiful uh, life in the end times, I might suggest you pull your head out of your ass. It is a series of assets and liabilities. I am enjoying the assets. This is the highs. And of course, speaking of highs, uh, a good cup of coffee in the morning, wherever you are, if you can start off your morning with a good cup of coffee and finish your evening with a margarita or pina colada or whatever the drink of your choice, drink or smoke of your choice is, then you're doing something right. And um, it is going to be a mixed bag, but when the bag is overflowing with goodies, there is no better, there is no better lifestyle than this. Just understand there is no free lunch. And for every one of these glorious evenings I spend in a place like this, I, I spend in somewhere that really fucking sucks. And uh, do with that. That is my advice for being a depressed, collapsitarian, doomsday tourist. And with that, I think I see Brother Peter returning from somewhere, taking a hot shower, and we need to... Uh, The sun is going down. The sun is going down and we need to get down to the beach. To uh we need to head to the beach to get our bonfire going because the full moon will soon be rising right over here. And I hate to say this is my uh last night and my little bivouac, oh yeah, one other thing, a, uh, a table, a table. It is unbelievable how much a table, 
This is one of these folding picnic tables that I manifested. I found this table in the middle of a logging road in the high Sierras. You have got to have a table. Don't forget your gas sucking Coleman stove. Do not forget the margarita bar. And I also, uh, and a good ice chest. This is the Arctic cooler. You can no longer, Arctic cooler has been run out of business. But it is a fine, fine evening. This is Brother Peter's camp. So, uh, there you go, guys. It is sunset over the end times. And I have a bonfire and a full moonrise to enjoy on my last night in this paradise. And then it's off to the next, next adventure. Look at those beautiful flowers. Yes, little dog, you look tired. You look tired. Are you ready for your next adventure, little dog? We got a bonfire to go start. Bye, guys.